So one further issue I want to talk about is, do we disable assertions in production code? And so for example, when we run the Python interpreter with the dash O option, which causes Python to enable some optimizations, it disables assertions in order to make our code run faster. And so the question we're asking here is, is that a good thing? And it turns out there are arguments we can make in both directions. So let's first look at reasons why we might want to disable assertions. One of the main advantages of disabling assertions would be that it lets our code run faster. Another advantage, and here we're starting to get into something which really depends on what we're trying to do with our system, is the code running without assertions is less likely to stop running. So the code keeps going even after some sort of, an, some sort of condition is found within the code that would have triggered an assertion violation if assertions had been, been enabled. And here we really have to ask ourselves the question, what is it that we're trying to do with our system? Is it better to keep going or is it better to stop? And remember that keeping going after some condition is true that will lead to an assertion violation may lead to a completely erroneous execution. On the other hand, possibly that's better than actually stopping. So now well, let's move to disadvantages of disabling assertions in production code. So if our code happens to rely on some side effect performed by an assertion, that is to say, if whoever wrote the code that we're using has violated the, one of the rules for assertions that I gave you, then turning off assertions is going to break the code. And not only is it going to break the code, but it's going to break the code in an extremely confusing way because lacking assertions, we're going to have a very hard time detecting the error, except that it's probably going to cause our system to crash in some confusing way or just to do completely the wrong thing. So this is a real risk of turning off assertions in large systems. And the second reason is, even in production code, it may be better to fail early rather than keeping going. And really, it just depends on what our system is doing. The question is, do our users want the system to die, or do they want the system to give them some completely wrong result?